School starts next week, and when the kids come home from a long day, many will want to plop down on the couch with a snack and, you know, get into Fortnite or watch, you know, YouTube videos or, you know, that, that can be the start of a really bad habit. So what can you do, Jody Treeweller, our fitness Hi. expert? Hey, guys. Here to show us some fun ways to keep your kids moving. Look, yes. I remember coming home from school. I was tired. Were you tired? I was tired, Exhausted. but you say that kids should keep on moving. Well, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, do you guys have a guess how much physical activity kids need every day? I don't know. There's a minute. Four hours. Oh, I love it. One hour oh. is the minimum okay. recommended, but I think a lot of parents assume their kids are having phys ed in school. Mm -hmm. My kids only have phys ed like once or twice a week. It's yeah, I didn't have something like it yeah. Used to be every they day rotate back in the, the day schedule, early. so they're not getting activity other than maybe recess for the real young ones. But for the older kids, they're sitting at desks, and it's mental. And of course, kids want screen time, right? Like, do you let your daughter have device time even mm -hmm. at her age? Let's encourage that the kids earn their screen time. Okay, they need to do something physical and moving, and okay. the key is standing, not sitting. Standing, Th not So sitting. even if they're doing a Wii or an active video game that's interactive and moving, that counts. Okay, so okay. don't poo-poo the fact that they want to do something standing. But here's a trick that I have learned with my kids. It has to be fun. They don't want to hear the word exercise. No. no. That shouldn't exist in a kid's vocabulary no. like at vegetables. all. Yeah, it needs to be an activity that's fun. If their friends are involved, there's a likelihood they're going to be more likely to do it. Or okay. if parents do it with them, mm -hmm. that's way more right, entertaining. So let's get into it. What are some yes. good options so for kids? So here's a trick that I've learned. Come on over here. I brought all this stuff from my house, from my basement activities. I'm going to hand you guys each a sword. Uh -huh. Look at how well loved these swords are. They are wrecked. Because if oh I just, so I will just put something out in my living room <laughs> upstairs and all the time. So I just set these down yeah. in the living room. I don't say anything about them. You the don't kids have will to. come up, boom, boom, boom. I will leave this trampoline out, just sitting out in my living room. And I'll come by and my kid's just like, hey, mom, um, what's for dinner? What are we doing later? And he can't resist. Kids Love can't it. resist, especially if I'm doing it. Jason, hop up on that BOSU. What is this? That's just a bouncy BOSU. Kids love jumping. Kids love bouncing. Anything that's just out, leave it out where they can access it. Don't even ask them to do it. Don't tell them to do it. Just put things out. Kind of how you rotate toys for little kids. Yes. You put their toys away. Moms and dads kind of know that trick. Yep. Um, also, you can combine activities like you like bouncing a basketball. I had to have these. I have these cones in my basement. Have them practice going in and out of the pylon. Dribble ten times with your left hand and ten times with your right hand. I love it. Right? Look. Oh, he's getting fancy. So let's talk about that hula hoop because yes. you know what I mean. I would definitely. Being the adult child that I am. Come on, big Randy guy. Yes, so anybody that. who's playing with a toy, a kid's going to want to join in. They can't resist. They literally yeah. can't resist. Um, but yeah, the, the weighted hula hoop, kind of more of an adult toy because I don't have a small hula hoop. Mm -hmm. But you can buy a hula hoop probably for $5. Really? Yes. Go to Target and just buy, <laughs> buy, a, hula buy a hula hoop. But I'm telling you, when I leave things out upstairs, That's always my hoop. kids want to play with them. OK. And if it's something I'm doing, yeah. I <laughs> know you might have a weighted pack on. So yeah. just encourage them, standing, not sitting. Yeah, this is my husband's like, this old, is like messed up. Get adults to work <laughs> out. Yeah, exactly, right? See, I mean, we're all playing with this stuff. Like, right. I don't even want to attempt this crazy jump rope. So is but. it a good idea to have a goal <laughs> and track their progress? What do you think? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I have my phone out here. Get a timer. Like, younger kids get really excited. So you tell them, let's see how many times you can jump on one foot. And right. then set your timer for two minutes, and they will really take it very seriously. Okay. Challenges are good. Like I was telling Jason to uh, All right, Jody, bounce right, bounce left. Where can people get more of your great ideas? Go to Jody's Fit Life on Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to put up lots more tips for you guys for the kids. It's the Look and at her. next on Live oh, in the D. She's got oh. it. Ooh. Hey now. Hey now. She's All right. Walking. It's the She's one talking. thing that's so popular right now. You can get it anywhere. You can't get it anywhere because it's sold out. I know. I didn't think I could do it with my back. This is so fun.